Hey everyone, I am TH Pine, and welcome to Castle! Yeah, a very innovative name for a game, but it describes the gameplay fairly well, so I guess we live with it. So, yeah, this game will release on the 7th of January on Steam, the link is in the description below. And it's about puzzling together a castle, and it's a little hard to describe, so let's just show it to you, um, and just play the game. Before we start, we see this cute intro cutscene. And uh, yeah, I like the art style and the, the audio or the music style of this game. It's quite cute. Da -da -da. And the story is as complicated as the name. This king, well, there are three kings and they all want to build castles. And we're supposed to build them for them. And they will pay us. And um, yeah, that's what the game is about. <laughs> that's all. That's all. So this is, tutor this is the tutorial. Uh, it has some nice animations. Um, I think the first part of the tutorial is actually quite well done. Later it got a little confusing to me, but um, I got I understood all the mechanics now, so I just can't explain them to you. So um, yeah, you have to build the castle. You have lives every time you put down a piece on in the wrong slot. You will lose a life if you run out of lives or time. You will uh, fail the level and have to try again. You can collect extra lives in the game. Um, or during, during playing, um, you have to collect money and the princess can help you. You unlock the princess by just building pieces together and she will get rid of all the hazards. But you have other means to get rid of the hazards as well. This is level one, the first part, uh, the first castle. It's really simple, only six pieces. And um, here's how the game works. So uh, you have various uh, cranes. Uh, for the small castle, we only have three cranes and those cranes put down the pieces wherever you want them. And if they fit, they will stick there, or stay there, and build the castle. And there we go. First castle done. I'm so good. <laughs> well, um, I had actually multiple takes for this video, so I played this game quite a bit now, so I'm used to the first few levels. <laughs> but this game gets way more complicated later. So you get money for all the money you collected, for the time left, and for the level uh, itself. And you, you use that money. Um, to buy upgrades and power-ups. You need to have power-ups to defeat the hazards and the upgrades Upgrades will just help you overall. So this is the second king, the Sand King. He wants a slightly bigger castle and he introduces uh, a new hazard which is the, the cloud, the rain cloud. And the rain cloud will make your cranes rusty and so you want to buy some oil so you can make them unrusty again. Those are the upgrades. You can um, upgrade the crane speed the time you have in a level and the lives, the amount of lives you have in a level. And um, yeah, the upgrades are permanent, obviously, while the power ups are one time use. This castle a little bigger, so we have five cranes now. But the idea stays the same. We just build the castle, try to not put the pieces in the wrong place. And I will not finish it yet because I want to show you how the how the hazards work. So this is the rain cloud. It will rain on this crane. Now it is rusty, and now I cannot use it anymore, as you can see. So I have to use the oil, and now it works again. Ta -da! Okay, so let's go to the third level. Give me all the money. I'm not sure why they don't give you gold. They give you dollars for some reason. I mean, th those are kings. They should pay you with gold, right? The atlas is basically like it describes all the hazards and stuff. I will show it to you later because it's funnily written. So this is the king, uh, the third king. It's Emperor Ping is his name. He introduces a new hazard: big chickens who try to steal pieces of our castle, and um, we fight them with meteors because that's how you fight chickens, right? So we buy a meteor strike. Oh, yeah, let's get another one. This always shows you how many hazards will appear. Like, it's the maximum amount, I think, that can appear per level. So there will not be more than three chickens and uh, three clouds. So let's click ready and build this slightly bigger castle. The door in the middle. Windows left and right. Collect the money. Oops, that was, yeah, I placed that wrong, so I lost a life because of that. Oops. Um, I want to see a chicken before I finish this level. Come on, give me a chicken, there we go. So we use the meteor strike to kill the chicken. BAM! 
Ah, <laughs> I love the animation for that. It's pretty good. If you don't kill the chicken, it will steal a piece or a tile of your castle and fly away with it. And then you have to place it again, which is obviously, well, not very desirable. So um, I think we do one more level or so, and then I will show you a later level. And then I show you other game modes and, and uh, the atlas and option menu and stuff like that. So a new hazard, the night, the castles get bigger and bigger. For the night we need envelopes, so we buy envelopes. Um, let's buy extra lives. And ready. One envel is hopefully enough. It, it should. It should. I probably finished the level before three knights appear, so that should not be too big of a deal. And in the worst case, I think the knight destroys like one tile. Uh, there are two different kind of knights. Um, but this one is the basic one, I think, so he only destroys one tile. Uh, the advanced knight, like the golden knight, can destroy f full columns of tiles. Okay, very good timing. We unlock the princess. We could use the oil, or we can use the princess to get rid of all the hazards. Like this knight. So she got rid of the knight and made the crane unrusty again. And there we go, castle finished. Or completed, I should say. Okay, uh, I think you understood how the basic mechanics work. <laughs> so let's show you a more complicated level, which I will fail, by the way. I tried multiple times and I will probably fail again. Well, I fail every time and I will probably fail again. Uh, save state one, level 10. Normal, continue. And there we go. So, this is level 10. New hazard is introduced, bombs, but we got all the hazards now. So you will see them all, maybe. And this is the castle, and great. <laughs> can we get this, by the way? Oh yeah, we can, okay. We need a lot of oil for this level, potentially. I should have bought more oil, actually. It's nine, not six. Uh, we should be fine. Well, we, we will not be fine, but we will die because of other reasons, not because we're running out of oil. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Probably can't. Probably can't, but I will try. Should kill the chicken. <laughs> For some reason I get frame drops in this level. No, not yet. Don't burn it! It's my castle. Well, not mine, but... I build it! Hmm, I'm doing fine so far. Oh, that's the wrong one. Then this one. There? No, that's wrong. Um, not quite sure. This one goes over here, yeah. This one might go up there or something. No, it's over here. There we go. This one is over here. I'm doing quite fine. At least better than normally. Wait, what's that? Is that wrong? Oh yeah, that's wrong, damn it. Yeah, you can you can see how this game gets more complicated. This goes over here though. So we can pull put down this as well. I know where this goes. Uh no. No, 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 not yet. Oh wait, actually we can't, no, not this one. Ah, we can build to put this one down here, that's good. Oh, this one, this one goes over here. And this one goes over here. I was never, never that far in this level. I'm, I'm positively surprised. There's another chicken though. Phew. A piece. No, 
was a green one. I kind of want that extra life, to be honest. This piece should be right. There we go. Oh, I'm doing fine. I might actually beat this level. I'm very positively... No, I'm running out of time. God damn it. Probably lose because I don't have enough time. This sucks. See if I can do it. Probably not. No, that's wrong. This goes over here. Oh, there's a bump! No, 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 no! Stop the bump! Stop the bump! Uh. No. Nah. Where do they go? Oh, no. There. Oh, can I do it? Oh, I never did finish this level yet so far. Woo! Wow! Apparently I got better at the game. Woo! <laughs> Sweet! Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> but I made it. I'm I'm very, very surprised that I made this. Wow. That was amazing. Okay, I don't want to even see the next level. Well, okay. Yeah, I will show you the next level. But I will not play it. Don't even try. <laughs> Sure! Why not? Yeah, and everything. No. No, I don't want to. <laughs> oh god, okay. So let's show me let me show the other game mode. So we're in the right safe state already. So there's a king mode you unlock when you complete the normal game. I guess it's just harder. Then there's a protected castle where you have a big castle and there will be a lot of hazards and you have unlimited uh, ammunition basically and your only goal is to protect the castle from all the hazards. So, uh, you, you have one, uh, three minutes to survive, and the castle have to survive to at least 60%. And yeah, you can see how this goes, right? There comes fire, there's a knight, there's a bomb. I, I will just let them destroy the castle a bit, so you can see how the destruction works. So he destroys the castle from top to bottom, the bombs destroy full columns, the fire from top to bottom as well. And... Uh, chicken steel pieces as I said the the molds destroy the castle from the bottom to the top and as soon as you drop below 60 the game is over it and if you survive until the time is up you get to the next level where you have to I think um, survive like with 70% of your castle and, uh, yeah that's the protected castle mode Princess. Pretty good. Okay, uh, Wall of Fame. You have a bunch of achievements. As you can see, I unlocked a few of them. Not too many yet. Um, yeah, there are a lot of lot of them. Not sure how you get that one. <laughs> Probably beat the game on King Mode or something. So then there's the Atlas, which is quite funny. Um, it describes all the hazards, as I said, and the characters. Clorm, bad-tempered. Clorms don't like castles, which prevent them from freely float around in the air. So, yeah. And uh, let me show you the characters because they're quite funny as well. There's the King Edgar III. The three in his title stands for three feet tall, wants castles for descendants. Next step, find a wife. Dream, win a Nobel Prize. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and Emperor Ping, overwhelmingly passionate about his complaints. He mostly needs all those extra castles to store his, ex uh, his garden gnomes. And his dream is to conquer the Antarctica. And he likes Japanese funk, apparently. <laughs> And Lady Vikima, if there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghost butt? No, Lady Vikima. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, let me show you the option menu and then wrap up this video. So you have three safe states, you can er er erase them. And um, you have settings. The settings are for some reason bound to the safe state. So uh, if you change the resolution for one of the safe states and then you switch the safe state, it changes the resolution to the setting of the other save state which is a little weird but um, not a problem I guess original is window mode you can resize the window then there's full screen and full screen HD both are only borderless window modes though um, so there's no real full screen and you actually like the in a full screen mode the, the cursor is not constrained to your to to the game which is a little weird like if you have multiple monitors that is because it's as I said only a full uh, a borderless window mode but yeah, background animations on and off, quality um, low, low, medium, high, and best. 
uh, sound and music, but no sliders and different languages. So yeah, I would have liked to see a sound and music slider here, separate sliders, um, and maybe rear resolution settings and not just window and, and full screen basically, and full screen HD whatever <laughs> but I guess it's it's okay for a game like this like you don't need a super complex um, option menu for a game like this but I it will not have heard either so yeah <laughs> anyway um, yeah I, I think the game is put together nicely I like the music especially the one in the menu it's pretty good I don't know I like it it remembers me of the music in clonk if you know that game maybe it's very old <laughs> um, I don't like the game personally too much. I don't. It's. I think it's well put together. It's a nice idea and a cute concept, cute art, uh, good music. But uh, it's too stressful for me. I like. It's like those games where you have to to make a pizza or a burger or pancakes or whatever. Those flesh games where you have to click a lot and I don't know. It's it's super stressful. And this is what this game is as well. You have to keep an eye on all the pieces and have to figure out which piece goes where and then defeat all the hazards and stop like uh, stuff like that. And you have to click a lot and. It's just too much for my brain, it's too stressful, so um, I personally don't enjoy it, but I think it's a good game if you like those kinds of games. So, as I said, um, it's, it releases on the 7th of January on Steam, the link is in the description below. And, yeah, I'm TH Pine. have fun and see you next time.